Hello everyone, I'm going to be giving you an overview of my frenzy zeal barb that I used in the Magic Find Olympics running the Bail category. I recently found out that he won by a very narrow margin, so very pleased with that. Um, now, this overview is going to focus first on why not himself, and from there I'm going to go into why you need to build your own zeal barb. Frenzied Zilbar, that is. Uh, now, of course, the focal point of any uh, non-paladin zeal is zeal build is the passion weapon. In this case, I went with a Berserker Axe because it's what I had on hand. Um, since it's only plus one to zeal, and you get the full five attacks from zeal at level four, I needed to get three more plus skills. Battle Command gives me one. Uh, High Lord's Wrath gives me another one. I don't lose anything there. I would have used High Lord's anyway. But from there, the rest of my build, nothing else gives me plus one to all skills. So, enter Bull Cathos Wedding Band. It gives me the skill I need, plus a little bit of life, and a little bit of life steal. I could have used a Stone of Jordan, but it doesn't really do anything for this guy. Now, the rest of uh, the rest of the equipment is pretty straightforward. Ariats, Fortitude, String of Ears, Raven Frost, War Travelers. That's for you know Magic Fine because he's in a Magic Fine competition. Um, Death as the weapon. Excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Death as the weapon. That was the original plan for this build. Was to get Death. Um, up to uh, the maximum zeal break point for a barbarian, which is four frames, four frames, four frames, four frames, nine frames, which coincidentally comes to 25 frames, which is a full end game second. That is important because one, you do five attacks per second, but also you finish your entire zeal cycle within a second, so you can deal damage, and then if there's something coming at you, you can run away. If you are zealing at a slower pace, then you may end up being swarmed while you're zealing, and you have to do enough damage to offset that possibility. In this case, you probably could, but, you know, I'm looking to make as fast a build as possible. Now, the original gloves were Lava Gout, and I feel that they are better for a questing character because they give you a chance to cast enchant on the gloves. You don't have to go fooling around with a demon limb like I have in these runs. But running Bale, laying of hand is much better. You get the 350% damage to demons. Bale, of course, is a demon. He's got insane amounts of life. And, you know, there are other demons in the run. It's just a better weapon. The 20% increased attack speed from e either one of those gloves gives me the 40%. I needed to hit the zeal break point I mentioned. As far as charms go, there's the Geed Fortune again, Magic Find. The rest of these are just standard fare, what you would expect for a melee build. Some of these small charms have a little bit of Magic Find, as you can see. Um, on Switch is just a pair of gulls, nothing socketed. Now, the skills. Here is what you need to make a frenzied zeal barb in the way of skills. Frenzy, your mastery. That's pretty much it. I mean, increased speed is always helpful. Natural resistance helpful. Battle commands, battle orders, shout, battle cry, taunt, howl, war cry. Those are your utility skills. Use them as utility skills. Leap attack, depending on what you're doing, that may be helpful. If you wanted to say, run Chaos Sanctuary, that could be very helpful. Assuming you don't have teleport, you know, leap across, save you a bunch of time. But those two skills are really all you need. Now, Frenzy, to hit the break point I mentioned, I needed a less skill level 27 Frenzy, so I have it maxed. And then Ariots gives me plus four, and then I have Battle Commands, Bull Cathos, and High Lords, which gets me to 27. Now, the reason you need to make a frenzied zeal barb. This is maybe the 
well, I don't know if it's the most scale, the character with the best ability to scale in the game, but it has to be near the top. What I mean by scale is, you know how when you're starting off, you make a blizzard sorceress, and you get her through, and you get her to Nightmare Mephisto, and you run him for a little while, and you get a little bit better gear, and then you can make it to Hell Mephisto. You run him for a little while, then you can go on to Pendleskin. You can run him for a little while, you get a little bit better gear, and you can go run the Ancient Tunnels. You get a little, little bit better gear, she can go run Bale for you. You get a little bit better gear, a little bit more experience, some more levels. She can be your PvP character, and she can do very, very well. She scales well with your wealth. This guy the same way. Let's say you have, you know, let's say you can make a passion, but besides that you have a lion heart for their armor, and your best weapon is a, is a butcher's pupil. You can beat the game with that, with this build. There is so much crowd control with this build. It is insane. This is the zealot that all paladins wish they were. You have the ability to make creatures run away from you. You also have the ability to make them run towards you. Now, obviously, the zealot cannot compete with that. And that gives you unlimited abilities with working out your gear, or your build rather. No matter what you choose to do, you can work out a way to make it work. I mean, if you want to make a build completely around weak chance to cash, chance to cast weapons, you know, just as a lark. Say you want to make a, you know, I don't know, fill in the blank. I'm, I'm blanking here. Anyway, you can make creatures run away you can use a chance to cast, we cast weapons, you know, and in any way you want. You can herd or you can separate. You can, you know, you can uh, use battle cry if you're swarmed, get them away. You can use war cry, stun them, get your frenzy going, and then you can start zealing. By the time they come out of the, of the stun from the war cry, you're already killing them, you know, and the danger is gone. This guy is incredible. Not to mention the, uh, the speed that Frenzy gives you lets you get in and out of situations. For instance, if you're almost swamped, you get off a couple of Frenzy cycles, you can run around, pick off anything you might need to. Say you've got, you know, Oblivion Knights casting the Crepify on you. You run around, take him out, and then you can take on his minions just fine. No problems. Um... Now, obviously, the better gear you have, the better this is going to work. If you're kind of weak on gear, you're not going to have a character that can run bail in sub five minutes, even at players one. It's not going to happen. But if you, if you temper your expectations, you will have an excellent character that you can, you can mold and shape to do whatever you want him to do well. And as you get richer... You can change him into whatever you want. You know, if you're a little poor, you can make something that can get you to hell. It can be your fun build while you're running with your sorceress and building up your wealth. And then later on, it can be your power build, you know, that you that you run bail with or whatever it is you want to do. It's, it's just the versatility that is so amazing about this build. And that's why you need to try it because... So much of, of Diablo 2 is just about, well, what is the best thing? What's the, you know, how do I improve my lightning sorceress that we all have? And there's not enough of just, you know, what is something cool that's off the beaten path, that's funky that I can do? Well, if you need an avenue to let you do funky builds, this is the package that you can fit it into and have it work. Not to mention, he just looks cool. I mean, seriously. Look at that. Look at how happy he is just swinging the axe. He swings with such zeal. It's like he's in a frenzy. Oh, that was a bad pun. Thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good day.